This is Star Talk. What does neuroscience say about empathy? Because there are people who are not autistic who don't have empathy. Like certain kinds of criminals who can't Yeah, I was going to say, relate. We, we do call them sociopaths. Oh, so. no, no, there's a word. That's the word <laughs> that's for them. All right. All right. There, that's got to be a big factor in the studies. Oh, yeah. There's been great research, actually, on, on empathy and, and how hard it is for people with autism. Some of this comes out of England, actually, from a guy named Simon Baron Cohen. He's a cousin of Sasha Baron Cohen, as it turns out. I was going to guess that. Get but out of you here. But he, he shows pictures just of people's eyes. And he asked, them, he asked the subjects, try to tell me what emotion this person is showing. Are they are they angry? Are they dreamy? Are they upset? Are they happy? People with autism have a really hard time doing that, just like Temple was saying. Right. And it's, it's but is it trainable? It's hard to train. And it, like, like Temple was saying, she's we really trained Chuck. To start. He, t- he turned out pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm he still did. a sociopath. <laughs> See, Chuck. that's the problem. <laughs> Believe it or not, though, that is what sociopaths do. They don't feel the em- the empathy, but unlike somebody like Temple, they learn the actual cues that they should be mimicking Responding to. as feelings. So, you know, the angry eyes they recognize as anger, and then they respond in kind, but they don't really feel anything when they do it. Mm. Yeah. Got a feeling I'm going to get a call from the FBI after this show. <laughs> Um, are there is there a tendency for artistic people to need uh to be medicated temple had strong sort of bouts with anxiety yeah definitely a a lot of people with autism have other medical issues going on psychiatric things like anxiety uh epilepsy also you need medication for that if i'd get tip my hat to the the psychopharmacologist or whoever it is that's out there doing this it can help no question yeah I, I'm just sorry that I spent all this time uh, doing drugs and alcohol instead of taking antidepressants. <laughs> <laughs> <You're good. laughs> but uh, is there the risk of addiction in people? Yeah, all, the, these drugs, of course, have side effects like all drugs. We don't want them overused, but they, they have their place, and they can be very helpful for some people with autism. Uh, but you have to... That's. It, he just sounded like, yes, we just trial and error. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, that is kind of kind of what it is, <laughs> is though, right? Because you said it's trial and you know, error. That's what you just said. Medicine's an empirical science, right? right? We try things. If they don't work, we then stop you them. Try something else. If they work, great. This is Star Talk.